Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Gunn. And over there is John Lewandowski. How are you doing, John? Hey, pretty good. You look like you're a little sweaty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same. That's why I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> but uh, how how you doing? How's your summer been? Been all right. All right. Um, for us, uh, we got a we're back in uh, happy mode. Uh, first uh, game of coverage. Uh, a little un unorthodox for us. We don't have like a stat line that we could kind of revert back to and talk about particular plays. But um, you know that that power play goal by Igor, it was it was set up very well. It was a very well set up power play uh, shot right from the corner. Um, he was wide open. There was nobody there. Right. Um, they made sure that they got him the puck there on his strong side. Um. On that goal, uh, you had that you had. Okay, I gotta remember all the goals here. <laughs> mm. Um, then you had Mark Del Geizo from the point with a very nasty wrister. Yeah, that goal went top shelf where Mama hides the cookies. <laughs> mm. Um, that's a little uh, love out to uh, retired uh, commentator Rick Generette. Um. One of the many reasons that I love commentating um, him, Bob Buecher, there, there's guys in commentating in, in, in that, that just, they're synonymous with their teams locally. But when you listen and you hear them, even from a, a, a way perspective, it's it's so good to hear that there's still people like that. Right. You know, because I, I, if I were a fan of another team and I was listening to mine and I'm like, I'm not entertained by this, but I go listen to like Milwaukee's or, or, or somebody else's, you know, there are times where I'll listen to other feeds just because their feeds just not entertaining. Their commentators are bland, you know. Um, right. What I got today was the, the, the commentating for this, but then again, it's also a prospect game, so it's like not a whole lot to really be excited about. Um, then I believe it was... I know Pedersen scored a goal. I know Matier scored a goal. And Williams scored a goal. Williams scored an empty net goal. Yeah. Put them up three to one after uh, Robert scored a goal. Uh, that would be Felix Robert. Um, he played for Wilkes-Barre Scranton last year. 16 goals, 18 assists for 32 points, or 34 points, sorry, 34 points. Um, so that was nice. Or no, it was Gabriel Fournier. Gabriel Fournier uh, scored, and he played for Syracuse last year, had 35 points. Also played 10 games for the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning last year as well. So he has a little bit of NHL experience. Nice for it's it's nice. You know, it's a good way to build forward. Um, yeah. Their goaltender uh, Hugo Allenfeld. And their backup goaltender, Jack LaFontaine. Jack LaFontaine last year played 12, 20 games for the University of Minnesota, going 12, 8, 0. Then played for Chicago for 13 games, going 4, 3, and 7. Then played two games for Carolina, going 0, 1, and 0. Um, and then played two games for the Norfolk Admirals, going 1, 0, and 1. Okay. So he played a little bit of every year last year. Yeah for them you know so i mean that's a bad like i mean that's bad that carolina lost that and right. to bring it to their showcase right find a little bit of a rub in the face a little um so tomorrow's a practice day or off day depending on how the team the four teams decide uh, uh collectively they have to collectively agree it's either a practice day or a community day um, either way, they want them to learn. The, the This is about learning how to become a professional hockey player. Right. So um, on those notes, um, the community is so important. Um, but also don't forget practice. Makes perfect. So uh, both right. are very important. Um, but I would love to see that the community gets to see some love because the community is without the fans, there is no sport. There's no, right. there's no nothing. Um, so as, as a fan of short track racing, um, I know this all too well. Without fans, the doors close. 
Right. So, and and I've watched short track after short track close, dirt track after dirt track close, and it, it does hurt because these are beautiful race tracks. It's just when the fans don't show up for whatever whatever reason, you know, whether it's financial to at the times or whether it's something, but you you want to see the kids uh, keep being a presence in the community. Um, right. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, I believe that was Cameron Housinger and uh, Narvin Mutter. Uh, those two both had a fight. They both won. Yeah. Um, Housinger was a little bit of a better fight, but I think it was also compared to who he was going against. Right. Um, where uh, Mutter was going against more of a, a skill player. So it was just a one-sided fight. Um, did, yeah, so, so one thing did really stand out, uh, one player did stand out uh, off the, uh, on, on the ice, and it's kind of not hard to stand out when you're six foot seven. Right. Um, Jakob Condoli when in the neutral zone or on the penalty kill was literally holding off at least two or three guys from like, you know, getting a site, uh, you know, interrupting Askarov's site. And, and from your forwards, that's what you want to see. You really want to see a defenseman, but on the penalty kill, you really want to see that from your forwards especially someone of his size to use his size to that advantage. This, there's little things, little things, you know. Um, I saw guys, when a defenseman would pinch, there was a guy already back-checking. The, right. the little things also, Nashville looked a lot, had to have better chemistry. Right. The chemistry was better. Yeah. And you could tell right off the jump that this locker room's already jumped. Right. So um, it's going to be definitely entertaining to watch. Um, I, I will say that, you know, um, Zachary LaRue was always in the right place. Um, Igor, as a second-year vet going into the AHL, um, that shot of his is only getting better. Right. Um, you know, it looks like Mark Del Gaizo made some adjustments that six goals last year could be 12 this year, you know? Yeah. Um, so, so there's some adjustments there. Uh, Jimmy Huntington looks a little bit on the uh, bulkier side, but a lot faster. Um, uh, Xavier Bouchard looks really good. Uh, I mean, some of this is just literally to see where guys were from last year to this year. Right. You know, um, so tomorrow is a day off. Uh, this is the, sadly, the only game that we could cover like this, like, watching i i don't know if john's gonna be able to do it or if i'm gonna be able to do it i know that sunday they have a game at 10 o'clock i have to leave my house by um uh, 11 no later so um i'm not gonna be able to i have uh, a prior engagement that uh, um was well scheduled for last weekend but because of the weather here um got called off so um it's our final event for the year for tng racing as a sponsor for them um, for this season, um, next year is up in the air. We we, we, we go year by year with this thing. Yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, with the podcast, um, what we're saying is, is uh, definitely if you're in the Milwaukee area or in the in the Wisconsin area, come check out Slinger Speedway on Sunday. Um, if 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 you're looking for something to do, it is free, free to the family. Um, all, uh, we, they are asking if you can. It's not rec it's rec it's not like necessary, but you know, if you could donate to the track towards the purse for the winnings to help with the payout, um, it would be appreciated. You know, and they will announce the people who made all, all made donations during those races for each of the payouts. So you will be honored in front of the fans. So. Um, that's that Slinger does a great job of that stuff. So there's that as well. Um, Askarov, I wanted to do that last. Hmm. Askarov. Um, Phenomenal today. Askarov has a bit of Dominic Hasek in him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
uh, a little bit maybe uh, uh, he doesn't hot dog as much as Wa did, but Wa Wa did get caught hot 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 dogging it a couple of times in his career. But he that battle that that battle from a goaltender you want right. that. and and you, whether it's a regular season game or a preseason game or a scrimmage you don't if you're a, a battle goalie you don't want to let a puck in during practice right you know and, and it, it just really seems that like that's the way he is and, and I, I would love to go watch an admiral practice and see if that's how he is in practice too like i want right. to make sure that, that that he's always ready to battle because if, if you know we're having a rough game and you know first couple minutes a couple goals go in and he's got to go in and battle the rest of this game that we're going to be able to have a goaltender who's willing to battle right you know so um there are some things that we want to really look at like right now that that are unanswered and we'll get answers but right now it's it's just a matter of of figuring it all out um yeah uh I, I got to get rid of this thing before <laughs> the regular season. This is last year's playoff beard come to full fruition. <laughs> mm. This long to get this far. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, where Ashcroft is just a amazing talent. And, and I say that because his athleticism and, and is going to be what carries him. I, I don't know if his style is going to click but his athleticism will carry him All right you want him to go um other than that um you know it looks like a very sound game um very disciplined until the last few minutes lots of respect between the two um i was very happy to see uh when igor fell into the goalie during a shootout which the preds went um, one for five, and the Tampa Bay went over five. Right. So, um, and the only person that scored in that was, I believe, Pedersen. Um, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, Pedersen. It was Pedersen. Um, but yeah, I mean, there there's a lot to, to look forward to, and a lot it, it it's looking good. Uh, Pro Cup looked to be always in the right position. It is really hard when you have him and Spencer Statsny on the same line, and one wears eighty one, and one wears ninety one, and you're trying to figure out who is who right. on the ice at times. But whenever I I saw Pro Cop, he looked to be in good position. He looked like he bulked up since the last time I saw him play in a rookie showcase, which was in 2019. So 2019 was the last time I got to see him in the showcase. Um, last year's showcase, he was already in junior. So they, um, yeah, that was, that was an interesting situation. Um, so there's that as well. Um, it looked like Vamachka was backing him up. All right. And at the end of that, the hug between the two of them, the goal of the two goalies, and it definitely looked like those two were in sync and, and, and linked up. And, and um, Nashville does a great job of drafting goalies. Yeah. Saros, Pecorine. Now we have Askarov to look at. You know, it's, you know, um, we've had Anders Lind back. You got, you know, guys they trade for guys like Troy Groshnik and, and Connor Ingram and, and, and they always take care of us here in Milwaukee. So thank you, Nashville. You guys always take care of us and make sure that we have a good pipeline ahead of us. And, you know, some years are harder than others. You know, I, I, I'm, I could imagine that you would rather have us as, as an affiliate during, you know, us, you know, COVID not happen really, to be honest, you know, um, it, it just, a lot of people feel that, but if you don't feel that way, there's something wrong, you know. Um, but I, I mean, out of our first time watching Askarov play, watching, um, you know, guys like Narvin Mutter and and you know, and Prokop, you know, they do give you a bit of 
uh, of an eye opener because they're so fundamentally sound. Right. You know, that um, it, it means so much because, you know, um, when you're battling for a position, maybe not even just for the AHL roster, but you still could squeak into the NHL roster. When, right. You know, there's always a chance that you could, you know, you, they could make that call. You know, so, you know, nobody's roster spots ever really, you know, guaranteed. Right. Unless you're Roman Yossi and UC Saros. <laughs> mm-hmm. But from the looks of it, it looks like Lankanen is going to be the backup there as well. Um, we will get more into the full camp roster probably on Tuesday. Because the full camp roster should be out on Tuesday. So we'll, we should be able to dive into that. Um, I hope you everyone has a great weekend and has a lot of fun and and stay safe and you know enjoy as much as you can because we know we will just remember um i will be posting the link to these games on the feed and be doing um updates on our facebook through text throughout the games that i do get to see and like even if i do get to see the game you know, a little bit of it on Sunday on the way to the track or something. Not, I will definitely keep posted and updated. And yeah. I think I might ask John to do Mondays at least till I'm out of my doctor's appointment. <laughs> mm. You know, so um, Monday I have my uh, final x-ray on my broken tibia. So there you go. I finally broke it. It's no longer an undisclosed injury. <laughs> mm-hmm. A little hockey humor for you guys if you ever look at an injury report. Um, so uh, I will see you guys soon. Um, yes, we will be seeing you soon. We're less than a month from from preseason games. We're less than a month from our regular season opener. Our regular season opener is uh, October 15th. We're, we're less than a month away. Mm-hmm. So we're we're less than a month away. We're 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 getting there. So um definitely time to enjoy what little time we got left. <laughs> Gotta pick it up and be happy while we can. All right. <laughs> All righty. So uh, have fun, everybody, and also much, much love. And thank you to these guys right about me. Hockey Locker 202 West Hard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They've been with us since our second season. So our, they've been with us for now four years. Thank you so much to Milos and all of those wonderful people over there at Hockey Locker and that make Hockey Locker work. Um, it's a wonderful store right here in, in our in my hometown, Milwaukee. Um, John, I, I, if I remember correctly, are you from here too? Are you? Yep. Yeah. So our home, this is our home and we will always support our home and um, Nashville's our home away from home because if you're a fan, fan of Milwaukee sports, um, if you're a fan of the Brewers, the Nashville Sound are your affiliates. So uh, go Sound and go Preds, go Admirals. Everybody have some fun. Go Brewers. Hopefully we can get some uh, playoffs again for another year. But not looking good. <laughs> hmm. But much love. Uh, go Packers. Go Titans. See everybody next weekend. Or, well, Tuesday. Ha <laughs> ha Tuesday, not a weekend. See you midweek. <laughs>